as we have been created in the image of God, it is sonship, which is the key. Now, Father, Son and Spirit from an eternal sense um, are operating in a circle of relationship of, co- of thing as love and the love that they have for one another. And there's a sense where Father, Son, and Spirit, Spirit uh, is a spiritual dynamic in the creational reality. But God has created the natural realm to interact with us, his children, so that as his children, we can be a reflection of and receive that love and love one another. Love is always the key with God. So God has created us to be loved and to love. Uh, and we're included in that circle of relationship between Father, Son and Spirit. He has put eternity in our hearts. So we'll always desire to draw back to that relationship, even though most people don't aren't fully aware of that. There is something that draws them to worship, that draws them to God. Um, and that's desire designed by God to connect us. So when it comes to the realm of creation, God has created us as sons to operate in sonship towards creation because he's created it for us primarily the created realm was not created for him but created for us so we as his children and co-heirs and co-creators could begin to mature and come into an ascended state so like him we would also be creative so there's a lot that god has only chosen us to do because we carry the signature of his dna we're made in his image and likeness is a race and the angels and other beings um the angels are created as individual beings and they have an individual identity and purpose there are other dimensions where there are races um, but they all are linked to this dimension in this realm because we are also the reference point to them and there's something really important about what, who he's called us to be now that's not about being arrogant it's not about us saying well, we're better than any other being but we've been chosen and we've been chosen for that purpose as his sons to administrate the creation with him and go on into the ages to come and wherever that would lead so in a sense there is joy in his heart and we are part of that and he wants his joy to be in us so our joy can be filled filled and in a sense you know, this co-heirship will lead to co-creatorship in a, then as sons, we will be creative and we outwork that creativity in every day in our lives to a degree. But there is a, a whole degree of being able to create as God creates by calling things that be not as if they are and seeing things form. Now, that also starts with our own reality, choosing the reality that aligns to the father's heart and his intentions around our lives. So creation responds to us and forms that reality or collapse that quantum wave function into the reality and the things we exist. But we need intimacy of the father's heart to know his intentions. Jesus only did what he saw the father doing. And that's what the father wants in intimacy of relationship, being face to face, heart to heart, mind to mind in the light of his presence. And then as his children, being an part of outworking his intentions because we were in cooperation with him, but he does want to teach us to, in our consciousness, to be able to choose realities which align to his purposes, willingly and cooperatively, and in that co-heirship and in that co-creatorship. So in a sense, you know, I don't have all the answers, obviously, because I'm not God in this situation. And there may be many other reasons why God created us in this way, um, and why he created the this physical realm and the spiritual realm and all the other dimensional realms that exist um god is god he is a creative being uh, but i know and i can guarantee that his purpose in creating was all linked to love and the whole of creation experiencing his love hence the creation is longing and waiting for the revealing of the sons of god so creation can be set free from its bondage to corruption into the freedom of the glory of the children of God. Therefore, he's made us with a glorious image. He's clothed us with an image of sonship so that creation can respond to us in that image when we carry the voice of God outworking his intentions. When we speak with his voice, creation will respond to us. So it's important that we know his heart and from his heart outwork in love his purposes as well. We love because he first loved us. 
we love one another as he has loved us and that means that we should respond to creation in a loving manner and bringing the kingdom of god his rulership his dominion through love not in any other way so hopefully that'll give you a little bit more insight into who we are our image and we can only find our image by looking into the mirror of his face and seeing what's reflected back listening to the vast sum of his thoughts about us he's made us with a particular purpose as individuals and corporately as all his children in that sense of who we are uh, in that created way.